how to program the Easy Pro Junior 8300 series water management system. All right, so it, the display, the dial, the buttons, and additional dials just for engineer's sake. So typically you want this to be set in auto so that it's running in auto. To program it, you turn it to program, which is this dial straight up. And here we have the run time, but we want to actually set the time time. So that's the time that you're setting and it flashes and to go, you go plus or minus to set the hour. You change over pushing this button right here to get, and that's the select button. Uh, that up will get you to the minutes and then you can plus minus to change the minutes. I'll just do it just to show you in case somebody needs to know. And then, uh, so there's that. And then, so, and then select again, will get you to the 12 hour or you can do 24 hour. And then if you go it again, you go back to the hour. Uh, how do you get to the AM PM is my question. It probably is from, yeah, it, PM comes off. When you go 11, when you go 12, it goes PM. So there you go, AM, PM, you go 12 hour or 24 hour, and then you go to date. Date on program. I won't do it anything unless you're on program. There you go with uh, today's June 27th, 2023. You can do the same thing with these buttons now that you've switched the appropriate dials to program and to date. Now you can change the date by selecting the year, the month, the date, and you can plus minus plus minus to, to change all these numbers. And you go select, select, select to get to the next one. That's date. Manual is for if you want to run a manual cycle. And that would be probably when it's on auto you can, no, I was wrong about that. Program a manual cycle. That will be in a different video. Cycle, schedule is the days of the week. And again, you have to have it on program <coughs> to do the schedule. And you can schedule odd or even days. Here I'm hitting the select button even days you can have an interval one is every day two is every other day three is every third day it probably goes up quite pretty far yeah you can do like weeks apart or even a month apart uh it looks like 30 days is the most and then every day and then select i think it might be stuck on i don't know why it says july 79%, is that a percent? And uh, getting around to here, I'm trying to get back to the days. Where did that go, days? So really you just punch around these keys to find out where you are, there's the days again. So I'm selecting all the days and I'm plussing to get through them. You can see the tiny little flashy dealy underneath when you go to select them. And I'm plussing them. If you minus them, they'll come off and then it won't go that day. See, off where the little flashy deal is. And you go to the next one, flashy deal. I'm gonna put two, or Monday back on. Will it do it that way? You just have to go plus through all of them, and then plus goes back on. Minus is off. There you go. And then water budget. It's on 100%. Like if it's hot out, you can add more. If it's cool out or rainy, you can go less percent using the keys again while on program with percent water budget. And then, but 100% is usually good unless you want to be super fancy. So the start times, this currently has no start times. We're on program, we're in start times. This is the time that the program starts and the programs are, you can be in A, B or C and 
none of these have time that they start, so nothing's gonna start. Um, to start, we would wanna put, at start time two, it's got, I guess, three start times per program, A, B, or C. Hopefully that's not too confusing. I'm sure there'll be questions about that. Here is the start time is at 12. And is that, there's like a glare, so I can't really see if that's AM or PM. Um, assuming it's AM since it's, I think the PM is more prominent. Uh, so I'm like hunched over. This timer is oddly set very low for no reason. It's like, come on, just a couple feet of wire and you can stand up like a real human. I don't know why people do it like that. But anyway, griping aside, we're selecting not the start time one, because if you wanted to start at like midnight and noon, then you'd have the first start time at midnight and the second start time at noon. But we're gonna go selecting to the time and we're gonna do uh, morning watering at 7 a.m. on program A, with the program on A, program A. Program, it just means programming any of these things. So there you go. And then, so that's the start time. The run time is a different thing. It's not the start time. The start time is when it starts. The run time is how long it runs. That's a thing that so many people often get confused that they hear out in the field. Um, we are watering uh, a couple of things. No, this is just one station. So it's sprayers and drip. Oh, that's unfortunate. Sprayers are gonna put out a lot more water um, and the drip obviously is slower and just drips. Sprayers just put out tons of water. So I think that's gonna be a lot but they're watering veggies, so it'll be a deep watering every day at 7 a.m. And then we can leave it there, but we need to turn it back to auto so that it'll run. If it's like raining and you want to turn the whole thing off or winter, there you go off. Program to be programming all the things we just did and auto and we are all set. Thank you for joining me. Be sure to look at other videos if you have different timers. This is the Easy Pro Junior 8300 series from Signature Control Systems Inc. And here's the look from the outside. This one still has the key. You don't really need the key if it's just in your backyard. Signature Control Systems Easy Pro Junior 8300 series. This one still has the book inside with plastic on it so it didn't get too wet. Um, yeah, that's the inside of the lock. Again, don't really need that if it's just in your yard, unless you're trying to keep people from poking around on the buttons. But there you go, dials and buttons, and you are all set.